So I'm Ryan Bright, the writer of Till Death, and it is a short film about uh, two young kids who are in love and uh, what they are willing to sacrifice to keep that love. I really like the storyline, the way it goes, the way it flows, the way it moves. Yeah, it was an ambitious script to shoot. I think we were very fortunate to find some kids that could pull it off. But it's really not worth shooting something that you're not a little scared of. My name is Daniel Hogg, and I'm the cinematographer or director of photography. Uh, and I suppose I'm a mentor to some of the students in grip, lighting, camera, assistant directing, and. Uh, other asserted bits and bobs. The key to key grip is you basically have to be the right hand guy to the director of photography. So whatever uh, Daniel needed, Daniel got, and I was sort of the guy who said yes and then made it happen, which was pretty cool. It wasn't so much the physical thing, but the uh, the group thing, frankly, the group dynamic. I mean, it was great working with a whole bunch of people who everybody knows more about something than I do, which is really cool. So there's just the automatic respect. Um, and an unbelievable learning curve. I, I learned everything from everybody all the time. So our light for him here is going to be a fake street light. Okay. Cool. As if there was a pole here and there was a street light. So it's going to be on a C stand because those go higher. Writing 420 is a great course and it actually has you doing hands-on film work, which is somewhat not a, not a rarity, but it really just tosses you into the fray and has you making a film, which is pretty cool. Uh, what are we doing? We don't know. If we knew what we were doing, this would be easy. Yeah. This is... Sounds coming down? We have four people holding a ladder because the ladder legs are not on the ground anywhere. Here you go. Look, it's a magician's move. Can you look this way? All right, let's get him off the ladder. Basically my job to know where everybody is and what they're doing and why they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. <laughs> and it's just, it's basically just being stressed all the time. Uh, it's pretty fun though. <laughs> it's my favorite national anthem. Thank you very much. Anytime. As sound people, we have to have an acute knowledge of foreign national anthems. Um, I kind of consider it sort of uh, uh, the art part of our job. Um, well that and that and sound. I'm Chelsea Graham. I'm doing uh, hair and makeup on the show. And um, yeah, we're just gonna make the magic man look old. We're gonna put some uh, white stuff in his hair, make him look like he's graying in his beard and everything. And we're gonna sink in his eyes, make them look like they're kind of hollow. He already has really amazing eyes, so we'll just make them pop more on camera. Imagine if you walked in there right now and you saw it and everything that's there, I put there. The walls were here already. Everything else, uh, our amazing art director, uh, production designer brought in and acquired somehow. It takes a lot of organization to make a film, and when there are this many people involved, you lose a lot of time because it's a very intricate machine. I'd love to, but look at that. Yes, this is his oh, Okay, he just has to go. Which and then, good. and then maybe he goes by, and then where's Chris going? The more sort of hectic film like experiences that you go through, the less surprised you're going to be when something goes on because a film set is actually just damage control 101. And you just stop things from going wrong. Yeah. It's really neat to see, you know, what was the script, what did we shoot, and then what did we actually edit it into, because editing is, is writing, you know, it really is. My job is basically to um, sync the, sound, the audio files with the footage and assemble it all together and, um, yeah, and put the story together. <laughs> so we're just capturing the sound of the, uh, the spokes right now for a bicycling scene in the movie. And we're pacing it so that we turn the pedals at the same pace as... Uh, as our protagonist in the film there on the computer. We get all this footage from production um, and then we get to put them all together so if we want the scene to go first we can have it and we can switch it around. Of course we're sticking quite a bit to the script but at the same time we can kind of use our best judgment.
We're also looking at the takes to see which one's the best and which one to use in the film. We're getting rid of the classroom and we're in the real world. We're making a real product, we're making a real film, and that's pretty exciting. And when are we ready? Action. So darling, I have one question. Do you love him? Boom! Focus is off, I'm not good. <sighs>